This is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world, both established artists and non-established artists. And I promise you that you won't be disappointed whatsoever. So why don't you come and join me in discovering amazing, talented artists and bringing it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now, my first reaction of today, we're going to go over to the Coke studio. And this particular track is a kind of magic by Karakaram um, Kara and Eva B. Now, if you don't know about um, Karakaram, um, I just checked out. He's, they are an alternative rock band from, is it Lahore in Pakistan? With a wide, wide range um, landscape from hard hitting rock to soulful spacey arrangements. It goes, the bands include Sherry, is it um, Katak on the vocals and guitar, Omar on the bass, and Bilawal um, Lahuti on the drums. I'm Crap at names, apologies. And it's got Zanan and Anan um, on the guitars. And as for Eva B, I know Eva B is a rapper. Um, yeah, she's a hip hop rapper, singer. She comes from Bal um, is it Balok um, family. Uh, she comes from a Balok family and writes and sings in um, Balok, um, Balokchi and Erdo. Okay. She knows her. Um, she is known for her appearance on music video um, television series Coach Studios in 2022 for her song, Ah, Ah, Kanayari. Ah. Okay, okay, we're in, so we're in the spot, we're in the spot. Okay, look, if you haven't done already, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification button to indicate to you when my next uploads will be. I'm quite excited now. I really, really am. So, without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? One dream, one soul, one prize. Oh, one gold, that song. One gold and glance. And they're doing it in the church. Okay, what's going on here? I'm going to pause it here for a little bit. It's kind of thrown me. The reason why it's thrown me, because when you hear about Coach Studio, it's not only about the artist as well, it's about the actual atmosphere and the design of their studio. It is just absolutely amazing. It draws you in, in all different kind of levels. So, yes, take away from the, the artists and what they're doing. Um... I'm looking at the, the, which looks like a church, which threw me off. So let me know. Is that a church? Am I looking at a church? And they've got the wires around the, the columns. Um, am I looking at a church? A church? Okay. Let me know about that. I, let me know. Please tell me that I'm wrong. Yeah. Um, yeah, he, he, certainly the rock and he's rocking it out. Everybody knows this song. Um, I, I just... It, it just didn't dawn to me, it's this song. But yeah, brilliant. But as in for the visuals, it's kind of pulling me away from what he's actually doing. And I'm trying my best to get sucked into what he's doing. It's throwing me, it's, it's certainly throwing me. Um, I'm going to go back. Yeah. 
just a little bit, just a little bit, to about, say, about here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna stop it right there. Cause when Eva B came in, everything just made sense. It just went bang into my face. It's like someone just slapped me with that. You know that 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 tequila tequila um challenge with the um the bread and someone slaps you in your face? It was like that and like and I spilled out all the water out of my mouth. It she just hit me. I have to go back just a little bit. But yeah, I get, I, I'm in it now. I'm in it. I'm in it now. <laughs> just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. Too bad. Actually, just, just before um, she comes in, man, because that was just hot. That was hot. So I'm going to go to about here. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, now that I've seen more of the building, it's not a church, is it? it looks amazing. He's amazing. Plus it was easy to them. I mean they smashed it, definitely. But I think it's a good introduction to the new series. So that was Karakoram and Eva B. It's a kind of magic. Everybody knows the song. It's been in um in what's what's the word? It's been injected into our brains for many, many, many years um, of this song, from Freddie Mercury to so many others. From Christmas time, they put it on all the time when there's some, I don't know, when there's a, when there's a strong promotional stunt that needs to be played um, by um, Coke, um, Coke Studio. Incidentally, I done a history. Um, I done a uh, sorry. I watched a documentary on um, Coca Cola. It is absolutely amazing. You would not believe the history. Of Coca-Cola. Uh, what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave the um, the link um, of the documentary about Coca-Cola. And where it started from. And where it, um, and what branched off from it. Um, like Fanta. And um, how Fanta became. Uh, how Fanta was designed out of Coca-Cola. Even though Coca-Cola owns Fanta. Um, and so many. And, and how Coca-Cola was a, um, you know, was a medicinal, um, used as medicinal purposes at, in the early stages when it first was invented. Uh, Coca-Cola, it was a medicine. And you get it from, yeah, a medicine. Um, and it goes on, it goes on. It was absolutely an um, amazing documentary. But I will leave that down there um, for you guys to check out and the history of um, Coca-Cola and where it comes from and where it stands from and anything else about that. Very, very interesting. Um, this particular performance... Um, I think what it was, a kind of magic. So I thought it's a completely different song 
altogether. So that's what threw me. You know, if it was it's a kind of magic, I would have put two and two together. So when the visuals came in at the beginning and my and it was just a narrow visual visual and my brain point of reference because of the art churches, all what was missing was stained windows uh, and um, and certain fig um, figments on you know designed on on the windows. Um, but I thought, wait a minute, is that church? And um, because it was a narrow view, that's all I could see. And then I saw wires around the column, and I was looking around. And I thought. My brain was trying to compute, wait a minute, this is not your normal Coke studio um, atmosphere. Where's the bean bags? Where's the, you know, not bean bags, but you know, where's the cushions where we sit on? Where's the, that warmth? Where's that redness? Um, and I was like, okay, what's going on here? And, and then it didn't, um, and as that was going on, um, Karakaram was singing, you know, the band was singing and everything else. And it was like, it, it's like my brain couldn't do two things at the same time. Is either focus on one or focus on the other. What are you going to do? And I had to press pause. I thought, what's going on? And I had to shake my head. What's going on here? Let me just get back to uh, you know, a point of reference and shut my head and say, right, okay, what are you going to do? Are you going to be looking at the atmosphere? And because it's not there. Um, that atmosphere right there in that hall hallway, um, it was the band that created the atmosphere rather than the, uh, the location and design creating the atmosphere for the band. Do you know what I mean? That's how it was in the in the previous Coke Studio designs. For me, it was like the atmospheric, you know, created this kind of aura for the band. Um, but now it's like the band is now creating an atmosphere for the location. Because that thing, for that Coke location there, I hope that's not the new the Coke Studio location because, I don't know. I, what do you think? I mean, don't get me wrong, that building... Um, from outside and looking in and everything, it must be absolutely amazing building. They have historic values and everything else. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that the building is, um, you know, any way, um, you know, I um, know. I'm just talking about the atmosphere from the leading from what Coach Studios first started and all the seasons, the atmosphere, what they created in, within for the artists. Um, it was just like, it was, of, it, it was of a kind of different wonder. You can split my separation thing all there, all there and all there, you know, all for the location, all for the music and all for the artists that's performing, you know. Um, and I think that that was there for maybe some kind of reverb, um, you know, acoustic kind of um, reasons. I, I have no idea. Um, then the wires around the pole, I thought, well, what's that about? How is that a design? Um, so... While my head was looking around and thinking about that, I'm, I'm getting lost in that and not actually concentrating on the actual performance. And so that's what I'm saying. That's the reason why I pressed the, um, the button. The button I unpressed it again. Um, and I got locked into what was it. And it came up, then it focused into, oh, it's that song. Okay, I know the song. Okay, I'm in there. Um, and he gave an um, amazing performance of it. But it's like, well, why are they doing this song? This, I've... Okay, it must be a promotional thing. Then my brain went again. I thought, okay, stop thinking. You know, just enjoy what they are doing. Not the reason behind it or whatever. Just enjoy it and talk about it after. So there was half of, about say, you know, maybe a quarter of near to half was lost on me. Just by me just, and I don't know if you, you, you guys done the same. Are you a person that sits there and enjoy the moment or are you someone that sits there and as he's singing and you know looking around and thinking hold on what's going on and then you you know you have to go back and play it again which I have to do which I will do I have to go back and play it a number of uh, a number of times and just keep focus on on the moment and the entertainment of what um uh, what these two amazing artists are doing and band including band and artists are doing um because I got caught into the, in the halfway and what Eva B was doing, it was like bang on, bang on. I was enjoying it. It was there. Everything was because I was focusing on her and what she was doing. And that's when I was realizing that it's the artist that's creating the atmosphere of the location rather than the other way around. And then when it went back onto, um, Karakaram, um, that's when they bring, that's when I realized as well that the, you know, the vocals absolutely amazing. Woo! If you put, um, Jubin and this band, have they done a, a collaboration before? I would like to see that. I don't know what color song they will sing. Um, but it would be interesting to see a collaboration be between Jubin and, and Kakaram. It, that would be, um, yeah, I would definitely, uh, I don't know what kind of, we'll talk, that's on another level. We'll talk about that. Or we should do a poll. You know, should I put a poll up? And uh, what song? If there was going to be a collaboration between Jubin and the band um, Kalkaram, who would, uh, what kind of song would you think that they should do as in a cover version um, of a song? Um, and I'll leave a poem and you guys can let me think. Um, 
is this an introduction to the new Coach Studio, Studios um, season or is this the introduction to their tour, what they're doing at the moment? Let me know about that. But um, yeah, overall, um, amazing because I know the song. Um, but yeah, like I said, I had to explain. I was like, uh, uh, uh. and I hope you guys know, um, understand that. I will definitely go back. I'm going to go back straight after um, because I I believe that I've cheated myself in joining a fabulous entertainment um, and, and performance. And so I'm not, so yeah, I have to go back and just watch it properly. <laughs> and so apologies for that. But for now, I salute you. Boom.